Hello, my name is Carlos Vicens and I'm the CFO of Neolithium Corp. Every project has a story and today I'm here to talk to you about our camp and the road leading to our camp and how it's evolved over the last four years since we started working at the 3Q project. This is a second short informational video we have built for you. We hope you enjoy it and find it useful. Thank you very much. The Tres Quebradas project, or 3Q project as we know it today, started not so long ago at the end of 2015. So far, we have invested more than $40 million on the project, and approximately 10% of that has been directly invested on the camp, road, and surrounding infrastructure. The 3Q project is almost 50 kilometers away from the nearest highway, and it was not easy to travel back when we started. Apart from the fact that there were no roads leading to the project for the last 20 kilometers. However, our technical team had some important indications of the large potential of lithium, and they worked very hard to find the correct way to access the project. The initial exploration team was very small. It was no larger than eight people. And the terrain and altitude made it even more difficult. The entire team could fit and only two trucks quite easily. Only basic exploration items, tents, and other basic instruments were the first to make it up to the project and essentially nothing else. After several initial exploration rounds and significant corporate financings to progress any additional investment at the project, we were able to start a more comprehensive drilling campaign and together with that, we had to build our first campsite. Our team at the beginning was quite experienced in other brine projects, but in other provinces in Argentina. However, we didn't have any experience in this part of Catamarca and at the 3Q project. The initial results were extremely positive, and due to our previous experiences, we knew we had something special in our hands, and we had to build a camp that could withstand the winter months and the harsh environment that we were in. Slowly but surely, we also had to build a camp road that could withstand the winter months and the increased traffic of people, machinery, and drilling rigs. In winter, and because of the altitude, we knew it was going to be cold. And we also knew there was going to be snow in the surrounding passes to get to the project. One good thing that happened though is that the snow did not reach the Solar operations, which was obviously beneficial. At the beginning, when snow was present, when we didn't have the right equipment, we had some difficulties both in accessing the roads and also at the Salar. Later, we started focusing on more long-term module-style camps that were more comfortable for our stage of operations. In addition, our roads of access were improved and we rerouted, in some cases, some of them. We also later purchased some heavy machinery to clear the roads if we needed to when there was too much snow. We also built shelters along the road, not only for us, but also for other people using these roads to make them safe in case they had an emergency. The construction of the camp and all of the mining road over time was a team effort and a learning experience for all of us. The project kept growing, taking shape and, with it, its own real character. In the same way the project and the environment opened the door to us, we also decided to open it to others, to everyone in the vicinity, for them to understand what we were doing at the project. We were not only building a project for the future, but also we were building relationships and trust with everyone involved. Today, 3Q is our home for the long term and the future. All of us at Neolithium, both in Canada and Argentina, are excited for what is to come. We share this small part of our history because we are proud of our accomplishments, but there's much more to do and we can't wait to make it happen. Thanks for listening.